Hey YouTube, Sign here, back with another video. And on today's video, we're gonna be talking about a couple of issues in Xenos Zone Zero. At the time of recording this video, it is maintenance time and version 1.1, it's going live in a couple of hours. And what better time than to talk about the game when you cannot play the game. So on today's video, we're gonna talk about the issues I've seen in the game, things I want to see change or adjusted to make things a little bit smoother for the community. Keep in mind, I'm looking for all feedback. Tell me what you think about the game right now. We all know Zenith Zone Zero was not a perfect game and it's not a perfect game by any means. So there's going to be issues that we all have as a community other than the TV mode. Yes, some people love it, some people hate it. Let's not talk about that. We're going to avoid that one in particular. But let's talk about other subjects that we can see improvement in the game so that we can come together as a community. I know that Hoyaverse does watch a couple of these videos. So hopefully they can take the feedback that we give as a community and make the adjustments as we've seen earlier. If you didn't know, 1.1 and 1.2 data in terms of changes was announced way earlier than any other patch I've seen in any of the Hoyaverse games like Genshin and Honkai Star Rail, they announced it months ahead of time. So we, in terms of 1.2, we do know that eventually we're gonna have the ability to change out Bell and Wise with any of the other characters, example being like um, Ellen or whatever. Another thing that they plan on changing is that they're going to allow us the freedom to finally change the timer in the game. So we're not stuck to doing one change a day. Thank God that's very annoying. Um, they're gonna change the way that we uh, get access to agent training mode and give us more accessibility so that we can get into that quicker and have more features for that mode. Because in this game, I do recommend people doing training mode. It is very important if you want to get into the better control of your character and understand the in and out of what they can and cannot do. But that's the stuff that we know is coming for 1.2. I'm trying to see what they're gonna do for 1.3 and onwards. So. Let's get into the first major issue in this game that I feel is still an issue, and that's going to be resources. So when we're looking at resources, I don't just mean Denny's. Oh, God, we all know Denny's is an issue. Like, it's an issue. OK, please donate me some money because I ain't got no damn Denny's. Every character I level up, I'm running back to that combat training to go farm Denny's, and it sucks. Um, that's a big one. Then we also have the, the actual materials. Now I'm at the point where I'm running out of experience and materials. I want to level up all my characters. So I'm going through each character and it's it's a it's a it's a slog. I ain't gonna lie to you. I refresh three times a day because I'm cheap. I'm not trying to spend any more than that. That's like about one pull a day. It's not too bad, but it, it does add up over time and it's gonna take a while for me to knock out all these characters, but hey. It is what it is. Now, the real resource that I really got to complain about is the boss material. Oh my God. I complained about this at the beta and they didn't change it. Bro, why is the weekly boss mat one material at the maximum level? Come on, this, this gotta be a joke. You gotta, bro, it's one material at level 30 and it's one material at level 65. How do you not see that being an issue? Don't you, shouldn't we get more materials as we level up so that we can pay for the higher cost that occurs at the higher level? Please, two, at least, it should be three, honestly, but two, come on, bro. It's so bad, it's, oh my God. That is like, it drives me up the wall. I, I see it, I go back and forth and I just wanna like strangle somebody because it's so it's so bad it's so bad but let's let's move on to the next issue that i th think this video is going to be no like um editing i'm going to ramble and talk about the game so you got to get my honest opinions and we're going to talk about hollow zero okay so hollow zero weeklies hey future sign here and apparently uh this section is now invalid it originally was going to be a section of me ranting about how five hollow zero runs is actually ridiculous but Apparently, they noticed that it was a little bit much and they adjusted it to two for their weeklies now, which is great. So therefore, it lost all purpose. Now, you might ask me, shouldn't I have known this earlier because I did play the beta? Uh, well, most of the time, I kind of just focused purely on testing the characters. I don't do like dailies and stuff, so I didn't really think about it. But going future, I will be looking at that just so I can make sure things are as accurate as possible when I make these videos. Sorry about that. The next issue is gonna to pertain to 
another issue about having another life. Overfill, plenty of times so far, I'm at work and I get a ding on my phone. Oh, you're at maximum energy. I'm like, ah, oh, God darn it. And it's not like it's gonna go into another bucket or anything. Nah, that's not happening. I'm stuck at 240 until I get off my job. And is it a big deal? Not really but it would be nice like we're doing quality of life other games already have it you might as well just follow the trend at this point you, you're because even though these games are like a hub honkai star rail genshin and zenless now that they have their own um their own launcher it's like a hub the game should be in unison um we should not <laughs> have a good future in honkai star rail that we don't have in zenless genshin it's its own beast at this point <laughs> they don't like y'all <laughs> so we're not gonna talk about genshin but honkai star rail has it can we get it in zenless please thank you this next one's gonna be partner characters so partner characters this is what the point of having a friend list you have a friend list to look at your other characters your other friends see what they're building see how their team's looking and to use their partners why because you cannot build up all these characters because do, 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 one boss weekly <laughs> one mat <laughs> the materials take forever to level up a character it would be nice that i can use somebody else's character because i'm leveling up these other two that take forever so it would be nice in the farming stages like the expert challenges the um the uh, what was the routine cleanup this even the basic the combat training it would be nice to have the option to use a friend character to make their friend list you know worth having in the game other than snake um sorry about the rant I, I, i'm gonna keep going next one multiplayer it was in the game in the beta what happened <laughs> I deleted it, bro. I still haven't played multiplayer. I didn't play it in the beta. They removed it from the final game. Can I just play with someone else? Is that too much? I don't want to play Snake. I don't want to play Doggy Down. I don't know the name of it, but whatever it's called. I want to play with people. I want to use my character and watch their character get tackled by the boss while I'm over there shooting from afar. Is that too much to ask for? Is this? I know they announced that they're going to focus on multiplayer in the future, but I would take the boss weekly back again just for shits and giggles. It doesn't have to be a challenge. I just want to watch other people die <laughs> or get beat up. It would be fun and entertaining and something different and games thrive with community. And when you have something that can bring the community together, it's more fun and a more fulfilling experience when you can play with other people. So please add it back. Thank you. And this last one, this is just irks me. It really does irk me and irks me a ton. Overkill. Oh my God. How many times you see this one enemy with a small little sliver of health taking a full combo from a maxed out Ellen? What? Bro, it should have died from her basic attack. The first one. Why am I doing three hits, throwing my spear around, flinging it, and he's still alive? That don't make no sense. Especially when he has no health from the first combo bro what yo that is blowing my mind like it is so annoying because in a time-based game this little enemy just has his health ex ex exasperate and it's like 10 times what it really is bro, i don't know if that's just me but oh my god just remove it please i if it's for cinematics, oh, it looks cool to finish them with the finals hit. Do it for the final enemy and pause the timer. But other than that, it should not be in the game. It's annoying. Okay, that's my TED Talks. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. I covered many topics in the game that I would like to see changed. Did I put a lot of emotion into it? Yes. Why? Because I care and I'm passionate. Hopefully you enjoy this type of content. With that, I'll catch you in my next video. If you are looking for a chingy god, cause yes, 1.1 is live. It's a god video right here. If you're struggling with Hollow Zero, it's another god video right there. Thank you. Until next time. Later.